Hi, welcome to How to DD. My name is Fred Wheeler, and today I am painting an earth elemental. I made it myself. I thought I would have a go at painting it. Um, I've already primed it. For those of you who are wondering, I have selected a basic design for my miniature, built it from scratch as it happens, and in this case what I'm planning to do is take it from where it currently is to a complete painted a miniature. I'm going to go with browns and greys. I think that's what's probably going to work for me the most. Um, I know that it might tend to have what looks like a rather goofy looking expression on it. But look, you never know what, what's going to happen until you finish painting something. So that's my plan for today. I'm going to paint this. I'm going to work my way through the, the black and then into the hopefully the browns. Using quite a large brush, we'll be using something reasonably stiff. It's, this is just a, uh, a shitey brush, nothing particularly fancy. And I've used a fine finish primer uh, for this, uh, this coating. Otherwise, it just doesn't seem to work very well. So that's my intention for today, is I'll paint it up with that. I'm going to work with the Vallejo Black to start with, and try and cover as much of the miniature as I possibly can, and then if I can start working with the browns, then that's good, good news. Um, feel free to chat along with me. How's it going? How's it going, Matt? How are you? I think I got the right person. I'm pretty sure that's... Yeah, that, that'll be Matt. Hi, Matt. How's it going? So I've been really busy. Um, I had somebody come over and show me how to, or the start showing me how to use Roll20. Now I've never used Roll20. I tried to years ago and it wasn't hugely successful. And so I thought, well, somebody's going to offer. And he, he's driven a, he drove a long way to actually um, help me out. So we're going to probably have a few more few more sessions most of that will be online practicing and doing stuff grab your own crafting bits and pieces and paints if you are able to if you're at work or you're still driving back and forth from wherever you are or you're sleeping or so forth if you need to sleep sleep um, I totally understand these uh, these will be still up on twitch TV for at least 14 days before the twitch TV takes them down right now I should have mounted this on a, um, a container I might still do that, but right now I'm working with it reasonably well. This is made from stones, um, sand, a lot of cork. Uh, I used a significant amount of uh, hot glue to actually put it together, for those of you who are wondering. And my own design, my own own design, yes, that's right, I did it all myself. It was quite amusing, actually. <laughs> <laughs> there were some times where I really thought I'd, I had lost it and uh, it wasn't going to come together. I'm good. My uh, essential set is at the tar at Target probably to pick up later today or tomorrow. Well, that's good news. Awesome. Matt, that's great news. I, um, I'm still going to be waiting till September. And, of course, you'll probably get uh, flooded with um, Dungeons & Dragons essential uh, videos when uh, I do actually have it in my hands. <laughs> Uh, there. Now I know what you're thinking, Fred, is this going to consist of a video where you spend all of your time painting black? Probably painting black and brown. I've got a lot of different browns I can add. I'll be using a lot of the Vallejo stuff and I'll also be using a lot of the um, Knowles's Marvelous Pigments colours as well, which is basically just army painter paints, for those of you who are unaware. All right. And it seems to be going on pretty well. And we'll grab some more of that black because I'm running out. Sweet, looking forward to those videos. Okay. Yeah, well, I am looking forward to doing them myself. Um, it'll be a nice change from the Lost Mine of Fandelver. But uh, the Lost Mine of Fandelver video, I'm going to do Droop. I, I have been thinking about whether I would do Droop. Somebody mentioned it, and I think, yes, I will actually do a video on the, uh, the Goblin NPC called Droop that uh, the bugbears um, hassle. So I think that's definitely a video topic that will, will get made. I don't know exactly when, but probably when I'm back into the swing next week. Right now, this is supposed to be the weekend. I'm going to the movies uh, in a few hours after I've done this. Uh, and I'll be finished up, for those of you who are worried, I'll be finished up as soon as Critical Role starts doing their thing. 
don't you worry I'll stop the stream so you can go and watch it if you're into that sort of thing and if you're not into that sort of thing it's all right because I gotta go make some food anyway I gotta eat gotta feed gotta feed the feed the engine underneath the little um, and it's um difficult to reach spot that's where it's really gonna be problematic now I am definitely gonna have to shift to putting this on a stand of some kind otherwise I'm gonna have black fingers at the end of this the cork the sand and all of the um, texture that I've put onto this thing is actually helping soak up the, um, the, the paint and actually uh, making it easier to apply it. I've, somebody, I think it was um, Anthony, uh, one of my subscribers, actually mentioned that might actually take place and it would be really good for soaking up paint. And it's certainly doing that right now. I'm just going to, I'm just going to turn around. I never have enough blue tack in the place. I need more blue tack. If I get more blue tack, it'd be, be sweet. I'm going to put this on a fairly small container rather than a large one. And um, and that'll hopefully help me manipulate the little sucker. There we go. Squid you on. All right. Hopefully it doesn't fall off. And that'll hopefully allow me to get at all the spots that I can't get at right now. Um, let's, let's work with the back. Uh, that's going to need either more water or more paint. It is definitely soaking up the um, the black paint pretty quickly. I don't know if anybody watches um, the Bard's Craft. Now the Bard's Craft on YouTube is awesome. He actually makes a whole bunch of miniatures um, out of all sorts of resources and materials. He hasn't been doing so many so um, recently, but. Um, I think we'll see more of them as, as he realizes that's where his his particular thing is at. He's done a few sort of castle pieces, terrain and so forth. Um, I also talked to um, this fellow who came over to uh, help me learn how to use Roll20 and we we're discussing maybe doing a, a collaboration where he will sort of talk about Roll20 since he knows a lot more than I do. And that would be sort of quite handy. I suspect it would be handy for a lot of other people, not just me. Um, so yes, that's why we thought. Well, let's let's see if that'll work. Bam! Let's pop that out there. A bit more black. The Vallejo is getting soaked up real fast. And more. Uh, so let's flip it over and start dealing with around with the faces. Just trying to get it into all the cracks and crevices. There's a lot of cracks and crevices on this thing. I've still got, for those of you who are wondering what's going on with the review for Acquisitions Incorporated, I do have the book, I just haven't had time to get at it. I will actually cover the book. And I've also got some dice to review. What else is there supposed to be in the works? Um, Dungeons and Lasers, the Kickstarter, the guys asking to send me more stuff. So if he does, great. If he doesn't, he doesn't. Let me know if the uh, the video quality isn't uh, isn't very good or the sound quality isn't very good because uh, I don't know if I can do very much about it at this end. It should be working fine, but I can't see any determination from uh, Twitch TV. Usually they give me an idea of what's going on, but there's it's not a huge... Uh, lot of uh, input from from them right now I don't know why normally I get within the first uh, few few seconds some sort of indication of what's going on okay right let's get the shoulder section all coated this is just an old brush so if you're thinking that I'm destroying it yeah it doesn't matter it's a cheap cheap brush that I got from like a Chinese Emporium I kind of figured that that's what was going to take place. Yes, I probably will use a wash on it as well. So it's not quite so important to cover everything with black. But that's where I'm going to start. And it's going to come down to, I think it's going to come down to just drying time on uh, um, paint coats. Really? Okay, so that, I feel like that's mostly done. And that was, 
that was really quick. That's one of the fastest times I've got black coated over this thing without spraying it with a black paint. And even then, you know, usually I've got to do like two applications to get out of everything. Um, I know I had when I was priming this, I had to do uh, multiple applications to get at all the angles, rather than try to do it all at once. Okay, so she's looking good. All right, let's just leave it there, and I will just tack on a little bit more black paint at the back just to make sure I have coated all the areas that I think I haven't coated. <laughs> you never know. It's I'm having lag, but uh, that may be anything. Yeah, I think I'm getting lag at my end as well. It's not quite. Uh, a normal process for me. Normally I've got a pretty good solid stream going on. So I'm suspecting that it may be like a, a Twitch cheat TV sort of thing. Because as far as I know, my connection is s significantly um, higher than needed to actually be successful. So yeah, I think my upload and download is in the hundreds. Not, uh, it's not, it's not small. I do have fiber going through. So all right. That is good enough. All right, so I'll leave that for a second. Wash out my brush. And I'll just lay this down so you guys can see what's going on at this end. I'll just move it forward just a little bit. There you go. That's what we've done so far. And it is time to grab some brown paint. I'm going to go with Vallejo because the Vallejo paint seem to um, cover so well. And I've got quite a large area to coat so that's sort of part of my reason and rationale for doing that and we're going to go I think with the first um, brown color I'm going to go with the the flat earth flat earth Vallejo we'll use that one and then maybe I will start working with some of the other browns I have available in the uh, Knowles's um, marvelous pigments range or the army painter paints that's essentially what they are I'm going to use a dry brush and just whack this on. I don't really think I need to get too fancy with this thing. It might even be possible to finish it in one sitting. Who knows? Who knows? It's, it's the last thing he says and then, then realizes it's not going to work that way. <laughs> oh dear. <clears throat> Sorry. I thought it was funny. Okay. Uh, by all means, ask me questions. Dungeons and Dragons, keep me occupied. Keep me, keep me working. Keep my mouth firing away. I'm a little concerned about this um, Lion King, this new Lion King. Um, I, I'm wondering if they've made the fatal mistake of trying to remake a movie that really didn't need to be remade. <laughs> you never know with um, Disney. They, they've, they own so much. Some, sometimes they're their own worst enemy when it comes to these sorts of things. Okay, so, really need something that will dry that out, let's not worry about that just yet. I'm going to be really, really aggressive with the, um, the brown, but we'll, we'll, dry, we'll, we'll dry, try to dry brush it on and see what happens first before I get too carried away. And we will start, where are we starting? We're starting on the arm here. Okay, and the idea is to try and just pick up and color the thing mostly brown. I will use some grays at some point. I just haven't decided when. And just whack it on. I'll just put that down. Normally I have no lag, yeah, normally I don't have any lag either, so I think this is more a, a Twitch TV issue rather than an issue at my end. Or even at your end, to be honest. Now I know this thing doesn't look like it's got hands, but I didn't really feel like it really needed to have hands. I feel like it was, it, it's got a slam attack, so really all it's doing is just belting something with a great huge fist, right? The trick is going to be getting the face details to come out rather than they get lost in amongst everything else. And there we go. It's still a little bit damp there, so we'll keep going. My, 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 my. Let's do the back. Let's do round where the feet are.
Right, so let's just leave, I think I'm going to leave that there and then just pick up the paint off the, um, the paper towel and then brush it until wherever I think I need to put it just to start with. And boom, easy peasies. Not very, I mean, who said that painting an earth elemental was going to be hard? Well, no, I don't think anybody did actually. <laughs> Okay, nice. It's just, I might want to, I'm just going to attack some of the area on the top. It's quite a wet, horrible day here in New Zealand. Um, and we've had some fine days, so today might be a bit problematic in terms of paint drying. So I might find myself in a situation where I have to stop just because I can't get the paint to dry. And the brown is sort of blending in just a little bit with the black. I suppose that's not necessarily a bad issue. But if the paint doesn't dry, that is always problematic, right? And it doesn't seem to be picking, uh, drying out fast enough. Uh, what's that, Matt? Uh, played Adventures League last night. It's a maze beyond the vault door. Okay. Uh, the maze is um, not hard. We all had fun playing better known, more more confidence. Oh, good. I'm glad that's working out for you. I need to go and contact uh, some people at the Dungeons & Dragons Adventurers League in New Zealand and, and say that I'm available to Dungeon Master this year because last year I, w I did not make myself available, um, mainly because I just didn't wasn't in a position to do so. I was I was working, so not, not at all possible if you have uh, have to work. And I was working weekends, so that's usually when the conventions are running, right? Rather than during the week, is usually on the weekends. Okay. Well, that's the beginning. I think I'm going to have to apply significantly more to get anywhere, so we will do that again. Um, I'm going to just clean out my brush. Right now it just looks like a, a giant chocolate, uh, what was it be, Ch a chocolate bar that's uh, melted in the sun and started to seep everywhere. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, bad, bad joke, I know, I realise. Right, so let's, uh, and the times I used to have when I was looking after the swimming pool um, at one of my jobs and... Um, I came back and they had all jumped into the pool uh, with none of their clothes on, covered in shaving foam. And the pool was a mess and I had to, and they chucked stuff into the pool as well and it drove me nuts and I was really angry so I, I was insistent that I would find a fake poo, put it in the pool and they would find the fake poo and stop swimming in it. Um, unfortunately it all backfired on me and the... Uh, the fake poo either got uh, jammed in the pipes or disappeared or got eaten by the chlorine because I found one that was all gelat um, gelatinous and that's exactly what uh, chlorine does is it tends to eat away those sorts of things so um, goodbye to fake poo I was panicking I thought it got jammed in the pump and everything hey <clears throat> those practical jokes do backfire on you sometimes should have known better I do now I've, I've gotten older and wiser, but well, at least I think I have. Okay, and let's uh, let's have a look at what we've got here. We definitely need to get more brown on here. A lot of black and not a lot of brown. Okay, so let's start with the back area. I'm going to be far more aggressive this time with the brown. We're not going to be putting it on in just small small amounts. We are going to brush on a bit thicker and see how it all turns out BAM and uh, down through the arm area let's try that there are times when I just need to be a bit more aggressive about things don't I yeah and this is one of them just be aggressive with the paint and that's looking good let's 
my uh, my board is getting a change in colour. Yeah, Caddyshack style. That's the right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I I felt. I think I actually may have got the idea from Caddyshack. Um, those those were the days when I was a lot naughtier than I am now. But as I said, I've gotten older and I'm a little bit wiser than I than I was back then. Um, right. So that is a reasonable job of the back. We can keep layering it, so that's the main thing. And then we'll flip that over. Having a lot of trouble with the paint not drying, unfortunately. Let's grab some more and attack the, the front section. Because the front is just looks kind of black right now. And I want to just pick out some of the features on the face. Not with this color so much. But eventually it should be. And I'll use the widest part of the brush. Okay. Good. Ah, that's a little bit better. You can sort of start seeing a face developing there. And now let's get into the legs. Oh. I've got a feeling this is going to be one of the easiest paint jobs I've ever had. Other than the fact that the paint's not really drying very well. <laughs> yep, I feel like this is definitely going to be one of the easiest paint jobs I've ever had to deal with. There's lots of different things going on here. So it's, uh, you know, there's bits of rock. Uh, there's sand there's lots of different sort of texture going on so going to be interesting all right so a little bit more brown and where else have i missed just check back the legs back under here down that way side of the head along the top along here that's definitely needing a bit more brown on it And a bit in there. Okay. All right. So it's certainly a lot more browner than it was before. Here we go. Let's just put it there for a second, and I'll give that brush a bit of a a wipe off. I'll give it a give it a clean. I'm gonna need this. I'm I'm gonna need the wide brushes a lot more than anything else right now. I imagine. Uh, okay. Uh, drink of water. Keep myself full of liquid <sighs> okay so next job we're gonna go with a different color I'm gonna go darker so I know I've put like a, a brown that's not that dark on there but I'm gonna go with a much darker color I've got a um, what's this called this is called Minotaur hide I've got a Minotaur hide color and I should also have like a Albear brown. Where is the Albear brown? Come on, you. Let's have a look. Uh, should stick out like a sore thumb. Yeah. There it is. Albear brown. So I want a, a, a few different browns mixed up in there, not just one. And so I'm going to go with the darker one first, and then I'm going to go start using the um, the Minotaur brown in other areas. So I think what I'll do is for the the underneath areas, I'm going to go with a really dark one, and apply that. And then when I'm satisfied that I've done what I need to do, or I've done enough damage, <laughs> um, I'm going to work with the lighter colours on top. I think that's probably where I'm I'm at with this particular miniature. So let's uh, pop out some of this. This is the Albear Brown. I need to check the Albear to see how it's doing in terms of uh, being ready to, uh, to paint. Can't be too far off. All right, so. I'm not gonna, not gonna thin the stuff down. It's actually gonna stay fairly thick. It's got so much median in it, um, this paint as it is, that I don't really need to add um, water half the time. 
And with a project like this, it's just soaking up the paint real fast. All that sand and that cork has uh, certainly done done its job. Okay, all right, so let's um, get the darker brown on. And uh, what I'll do is I'll just move that out of the way, and you can see what I'm doing with the palette a little bit more if I leave the palette in this shot. Not that you guys don't know what you're doing, I'm sure you do. Uh, what's that, Matt? I uh, went to go buy Reaper Bones Black Albear, and it is out of uh, production. That's the third time in a row that, that this happened to you. Oh, well, that's not good. I'm, I'm sorry to hear about that. Not good at all. Problem is, I think that that range, that particular range, the blacks in particular, are something that uh, they go out of stock constantly and uh, uh, which is just an indication of they just should need to start producing more more of it they know it's gonna it's a good product right so therefore they know that it's going to sell quickly so why are they not just getting on with it and pumping out a bit more of it or is that just to keep the price up that might be just to keep the price up so I'm doing under its armpits always wash under your armpits I mean always paint under the armpits going with a darker color and uh, its backside can be a much darker color as well. Down there between between the, you know what I'm talking about. Hang on, just give me a second. Let's get some paint on there. Yep. And in the nether regions. In the nether. In the nether. I'm going to be hanging out with my sister Rose today, which I'm kind of excited about. Um, it's only just been recently that I've seen um, so much of them. Which is kind of nice. I really like it. Uh, Blanco did a review on them. Yeah, yeah, Blanco did do a review on it. it does a review on everything. <clears throat> and let's see. Where else do I want to go? Um, up along there. Down along here. Where the legs are more mostly... Not on top, leave that alone, along with the armors. Let's do that again. Cool. So that's the dark brown color going on there. I don't know if you can necessarily um, um, pick it out though. Uh, $7.99 in the States, basically $8 in the States. So if it's $8 in the States, it's probably going to be. What, <clears throat> to ship it, it'll be about $15 to ship to New Zealand, and New Zealand money, and if it's $8 um, US, then that's uh, $12 US for the miniature, and then $15 for shipping, um, so that comes to roughly ooh, $27, I believe, $27 to get uh, something like that in, in New Zealand. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and it's appalling. It's what happens when you're a long way off. There's there's a good reason good reason to be in in the and I mean the two main countries to be in has got to be or three would be um, America, Canada, and the UK. I imagine they do pretty well in terms of uh, things being shipped to them. Although I would imagine the, the exchange rate with the pound might be a bit painful at times. I know that you can get your Games Workshop um, miniatures a lot cheaper uh, in the UK than other locations around the world just because that's where the vast majority of their manufacturing takes place. Um, and that's where the company's sort of situated. So I, I imagine they sort of, sort of tailor their production to that to a large degree. Okay, right, so now that I've done that and I've used that, which, where has it gone? So put that out of the way. I've done that one. I've used uh, flat earth. That's done. I'm going to be using the tan earth later, which is much lighter brown. Um, we're going to go with this minotaur hide color. And I'm going to start working along the top of the miniature. And it will hopefully give me some variation in the browns. And then I'm going to start working in... What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the grey just to pick out specific locations 
rather than get too carried away with applying it everywhere. So I won't be using like a, um, a dry brush or a large brush for that. Okay, let's go with that one. That's a lighter brown. Bring it back into the shop, Fred. What are you doing? Bring it back to the shop. There you go. Give me that. Come on, you. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. This is going to be very, very light in comparison. I just have to be careful about the first stroke. Let us try the first stroke along the top. Woohoo. Whoa. Wow. Light strokes, light strokes, light strokes. And down the arms. Down, 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 down. Down that way. That's good. That worked well. It's going to be about changing the angle of the brush I can I can see it now down 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 and then down the arm with that color along the top let's do that again yeah, it's gonna work out fine not to worry not to worry Fred it's all gonna work out fine in the end all right so let's um let's get a decent angle for this and I feel like I, I want to brush down, but it's a very hard for me to brush down and for you to see the end. There we go. That's a better angle for the camera, isn't it? <clears throat> Making sure, I just make sure I've got myself lined up with you. If I've got myself far enough forward that you can actually see what's going on. There we go. Much better. Much better. Cool. And I'm definitely going to hit it on the face with this stuff as well, so... Do that right now before I start losing um, any more paint. I don't want to get too carried away, but okay, so let's see if this can bring out the face a bit more. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Okay, that's made a Big difference. Big difference. Okay, let's just go run it along the top of the arm there. You should st start to see a face developing on there now. I can certainly see it coming out. Hopefully the um, the camera is picking it up. That's a, bit, that's a huge difference in comparison to what I had before. And it's... Blending in nicely, you wouldn't even notice what's going on. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, let's do that again. And we'll tackle it down down the back, I think. Back of the shoulders and the back a little bit. And pick out a little bit more of that. That's enough, we'll leave that alone. And then... Um, Along that arm there, get out of the way, and then along there, yep, cool, alright, I might have to do a lot more with the face, the eyes are going to have to, I'm a little bit worried about making them white, I don't think they should be white, I think they should definitely be an off, an off colour, otherwise it's going to look really weird. Okay, so that's that one. Now we're going to be going to a much lighter brown very shortly. I'm going to be using this, this tan earth, which is very, very light in comparison to the other colors that I've been using. Still a brown. Still working with the browns. Let's move this forward a bit. There we go. Okay. Uh, right, now time to clean out and dry out the brush. And we'll keep going. Ah, oh dear. <clears throat> Need to have more than one dry brush available at the same time. So that I can just transition from one to the next really quickly. <laughs> oh dear. <clears throat> and then ditch that. Because that's not going to help me no more. And let's turn that over a little bit maybe. Come on you. There we go. There we go. Oh. 
Ah, oh, slowly but surely. All right, there we go. That should be dry enough to do what I need to do. All right, so let's get another little pot tray ready to go. Put out a bit of paint, give it a good shake. I've got bull bearings in my Vallejo paints. I'm definitely not doing that with the um, the Knowles's marvelous miniatures because I think they don't need it. <laughs> Um, they need a good shape, but there's so little paint in there, it's going to be pointless. <clears throat> What's that, Matt? Uh, the boss was a uh, gibbering mouther. Oh, dear. I think the DM said it uh, looks like the thing from the movie Thing. Yes. Problem is, the gibbering mouth is not actually that terrifying now in Dungeons & Dragons 5e. Most monsters are a little bit on the, the tame side. I'm... I've been trying to figure out if I can do monster tactics on YouTube in six minutes. Is it is six minutes enough time for me to be able to pump out the information you would need? And the only way I can think of being able to do that is to ditch most of the lore and just go straight for the battle tactics and how they would operate in a in a in a fight um, in terms of their tactical um, the tactical aspect of them. That might be something that winds up happening. We'll see. Um, I'll give it a give it a go. Maybe call it something like um, "Quick Monster Tactics" because uh, I've got I've got two monster series, three three monster series. One called Monster Manual, one Monster Manual Tactics, and one called Monster Tactics. So I'm gonna have to give this one a, a different name. All of course still got the word monster in it somewhere. Okay, let's. Yep. Let's just run. I'm just going to run this color along the top edges. And I definitely want to hit the face now. And there we go. Face is starting to develop now. Can you guys see that now? I'm hoping you can actually sort of see a face developing. Uh, the thing had weird attacks. Yes, um, Gibbering Malthus has very unusual attacks. You probably couldn't even really classify them as an attack as such. It's more like a, an effect it has on a, whoever can hear it. <laughs> that's, that's the fun of the Gibbering Malthus. And... Just a light application there. I mean, most of this is all going to get evened out in a wash anyway, so it's not a big deal, is it? And yes, I will wash the miniature. Not with hot soapy water, though. <laughs> uh, not funny, I know. Hi, Joe. How's it going, Joe? Nice to have you. You made it. This is where I am now, for my painting anyway. And um, you do not need to be concerned about um, some of the painting streams that you have missed because I have recorded them, um, I download them, and then I go through and I chop them down to be uploaded to um, Patreon. But um, the problem is it just takes me a long time to process all of that. They're like an hour long, so you, can, you imagine it's not so much work, it's just time waiting for processing. And uh, there's a lot of processing going on. Heaps of it. It's, I'm going to just hit some of the dark areas with this light color as well. Because it's working pretty well so far to pick everything out. In fact, it's doing a fantastic job of it. I might actually just hit all of the areas with it. I don't know, I really think it's made a huge difference, actually. Massive difference. I won't worry about that section, because that's mostly underneath the miniature. And, and I do apologize if I did not give people a lot of warning on YouTube about uh, the fact that I was here. Um, I didn't know if I was going to make it today, because I had already pre-planned to do something else. But we were, f we were kind of finished up, and my brain was already melting. So I thought, well... 
it's my painting day let's do some painting and uh, got just enough time before everybody disappears off to go and watch Critical Role so that's the plan that's what I'll do I have so many things to paint and a lot of uh, Gale Force 9 stuff I really need to uh, shoot some videos myself laugh out loud you got to stop trying to Joe stop trying to shoot um, video and edit it you, you're, you're wasting your time doing that I've, 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 I've told you before you just need to get it up just get it up when you have you'll never have time to do it so just turn the camera on and once it's done just stick it up on YouTube and be done with it okay it won't make any difference whatsoever All right so I think I might actually grab a bit more of this color and see if I can't fix things up a bit more critical low low uh, critical role is a little a little bit something a little bit a little bit little bit something else something else I don't know well I know that I know that it's a little bit uh, ridiculous for me to, to stay on once they are on because everybody is going to tend to drift off to there um, okay so that that is really starting to um, come alive. I'm I'm really happy with the uh, the final the the results that I'm getting. I am going to not worry so much about hitting the areas that are underneath. I feel like that's actually probably unnecessary. So I'm just going to stick with what I've been doing. Um, will I grab a bit more of this? This is the this is the thing. Your notifications did work, come at. Oh, that's good news. Okay, right. So. I've done brown 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 I feel like the details are starting to pop out a little bit more which is good I don't want to get caught up in um, trying to go over it with too many different colors I think we've had enough brown it is time to move to the gray let's gray it let's put some gray on there why not put my gray on and I think I need to actually pick out the eyes and mouth a little bit because right now you can't see diddly squat of that um, I can't see diddly squat of it so I think we'll do the eyes as well so I might do the face right this minute I know that sounds amazing but it's true I'll do that now All right let's get rid of that brush that'll give it time to dry and if I find a little pottle and we're going to use the choices there's so many paints skeleton brown I'm going to use skeleton brown and I'm going to use zombie flesh so we'll start with the zombie flesh <laughs> on the eyes and the mouth area and then I will move it to a lighter color and hopefully that will sort of help pick it out a little bit and make it sort of um, stand out slightly more than it is right now man and it, nah, 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 nah. standard brush size and we'll go with the zombie flesh zombie flesh I will eat your eat your brains uh, yeah, they're so tasty I don't want salt and pepper I want spices and herbs as well mm. all right not too much Fred don't get too carried away the eyes and the mouth are not that big all right so um let's have a look see what is going to happen if i do this is it going to look like garbage or will it look all right don't get it in the middle bit just on the outside huh and you thought this was going to be easy fred just just wait ah uh, little little movements little movements little movements little movements so the eye is sort of blended into the um the face so it doesn't there's not like an eye eye as such to paint <laughs> if anything the eye eye is kind of part of the the elemental's face so there's not a huge amount to get at now is that really yeah I think that'll do okay so let's try the other one and pick it out the I used a bead with a hole in it for the eyeball so it's a little it's a little bit hard to sort of spot because 
you know, hang on, brush for wetting time, wet that brush up, see if I can't get the eyes to sort of stick out just a little bit more. There we go. I'm really struggling getting the paint to dry today, for whatever reason. It's, it's, I mean, it doesn't feel that cold today, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just really damp. Humidity is always an issue with paint, right? There we go. There we go. There's, there's starting of the eyes. Let's move on and see if we can't get the chin and the mouth section to sort of stand out. I'm gonna, I'll see if I can't sort of pluck out the, um, the top of lip without making a complete, it looks terrible and it looks terrible, but. Mm. It almost feels cartoony. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it almost feels like it is a, a cartoon character. It almost looks like a cartoon character. Not necessarily a bad thing, but. <laughs> uh, dude, that's really funny. It's making me crack up. It's got that, goo it's got even got a cleft chin. There's a cliff, cliff in the chin. Chin cliff. All right. That's, um, that's. It certainly stands out a bit more than it did before, but gosh, it's, it is a bit goofy, isn't it? There are times when I do run um, goofy characters. Whimsical, let's call it whimsical. All right, there. And at least I've got another color to go over that, so it shouldn't be, it shouldn't look quite so weird. Um, all right, so now that we've done this, that was the the zombie flesh. Let's go with the the brown. Now, will I do that now or later? No, we're going to do it now. I can see critical role. I have less than five minutes to get at least the face sort of mostly in development, right? So let's let's get that done. And there's a bit of paint, and I'm going to use a much smaller brush. I'm going to use the fine layer brush instead. Um, what's that, Joe? My mum just um, messaged me, said, um, don't watch Critical Role on Twitch. Um, I said, yes, mum. She said, okay, thanks, I found it. Uh, laugh out loud, she loves D&D. Um, I've got her hooked. Really? Well, that's good. What we want is we want the families playing um, Dungeons and Dragons rather than playing Monopoly and uh, then dis disowning each other because um, s somebody uh, sold all their property out from underneath them. That's, <laughs> is that, if you want to break up families, that's the best way to go, right? It's play, it's play Monopoly. <laughs> God, this is a shocking game, that. Um, right, so let's see if this colour works with these eyes. Yeah, I think it does. And leave the senses senses black. And I won't with this colour, I will probably not paint over the same areas that I painted with the zombie flesh. And I'll just paint mostly around the eyeballs with this um, skeleton colour. And then let's just do a really fine ridge along its mouth. And then just the side of the brush for that. Okay, there we go. Not too bad. 
Now, obviously, I'm not finished, but there's not a hope of me being able to um, to get it done um, quickly enough. And also, too, I've noticed that the, the paint is just not drying. It doesn't want to dry. But the good news is that tomorrow is my day off as well, which means I will be back to paint some more, which is hopefully going to happen, what, in about 24 hours from now? 20, 20, yeah, I would say about 24 hours from now. Hey, thank you for everybody who showed up. Um, remember to share, like, and subscribe. Hit the, oh, was it the follow the button on Twitch TV, isn't it, usually? Let's give you a good rundown. Let's, let's, do, the, let's do the turn. Let's, the model needs to do the turn. So come here. Come here, Mr. Model. Get in the, get in the shot. Uh, what are you doing? Stop. Stop it. There. That's it. In the middle. <laughs> All right. So, yes, I do know uh, it needs work. It looks a little bit like a uh, character from Scooby-Doo. In fact, it does, in fact, look very much like a monster you would see in Scooby-Doo. Um, I need to deal with some of the, the bits and pieces on it that are more stone in shape. So I will paint some grey sections in as well. It won't be just brown, dry brushed. And I'll also deal with some of the, um, the stones at the base of the creature. And if I can figure out a better way of making it look, but I think, you know, when I, when I made it, um, the, the face was the hardest bit, <laughs> it really was the hardest bit for me. It does remind, I mean, it reminds me of Scooby-Doo so much. It's like Scooby-Doo stuff, really is. Um, I have a Patreon page if you want to support me there, so I keep coming back and doing this sort of thing. Um, I also have um, affiliate link, links to the book depository and Amazon, and I have a merchandise shelf, as it happens, which you're welcome to go and check out. Um, and hey, till next time, keep rolling those 20s.